Good morning, students. In last lecture, we have learned about the central theme of the lesson: chasing the sea monster. And I have given some spellings of the blackboard also. Now, on this lecture, I am going to explain the summary of the lesson as well as I will give some question answers regarding the lesson. So, just pay attention on blackboard. I am here with the summary of the lesson. What is the name of the lesson? Chasing the sea monster. This lesson is written by a French writer Jules Verne. The lesson Chasing the Monster, Sea Monster, is an extract from the novel Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. This is written by Jules Verne. The story in this extract, in in, the, in that particular story, what is about? It is about spotting a mysterious sea monster by the inmate on a warship which is used for that the story revolves the relentless chase between the warship that is frigate and the sea monster the warship named abraham lincoln what was the name of that ship the name of the ship was abraham lincoln captain by the commander Farouk, along with the professor Aronax, a French marine biologist, and narrator of the story, a master harpoonist, Ned Land, and other crew members chase the sea monster, and in the end, Ned Land succeeds in hitting the sea monster. The collision between the frigate and the sea monster is so dangerous so horrible that commander professor aronax and ned are hurled into the sea search the in you can see such type of information on internet also to get more knowledge regarding the chasing the sea monster you can collect from the internet also this is the summary of the story i have given some question answers over here Please pay attention here. What is the name of the ship in the story? The name of the ship in the story is Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Second question. Why did the Abraham Lincoln slow down? What was the reason behind it? Because the Abraham Lincoln slowed down. That it because it was unable to compete. Compete means sparda karne with the monster speed. Third question is about grammar question. Ned had a dreadful weapon. What you have to do? You have to add a question tag. So what is the rule? Write the sentence as it is. Okay. Ned had a dreadful weapon. Then make the comma there. So already in this sentence having auxiliary verb had. So I have written had here because this sentence is in affirmative. So when the sentence is affirmative, I have to add there not hadn't he. He means who Ned the person on that ship. So the question tag is Ned had a dreadful weapon, comma hadn't he? Hadn't he? Okay. Fourth one is no one thought of sleeping. Make it affirmative. Affirmative means what? Hokararthi. And negative means nakararthi. The sentence is in negative sense because no word is used here. No one thought of sleeping. When you are going to convert into affirmative sentence, don't change the meaning of the sentence. So what will be the affirmative sentence? Exactly opposite of no one, everyone. Everyone remain awake. Opposite of sleep, awake. So what is the affirmative sentence? Everyone remain awake means no one was, no one thought of sleeping. Everybody was remain awake. This is the affirmative sentence. So these are some question answers regarding the lesson chasing the sea monster. Write it down in your notebook. Collect more information about this lesson on internet. Do write this homework in your notebook and send to on my personal WhatsApp number. Okay. If you have any doubt, you can go through the lesson. You can ask me. And most important thing is that read the lesson properly and recite all the question, spellings, even theme of the lesson and summary of the lesson. Okay. Thank you.